Hi everyone, it's Margaret here with 60 and Me. Today I'd like to talk to you about skincare. Skincare and, uh, you know, secrets for ageless beauty and the things that we can do to, you know, make our skin look and feel the best that we can as we get a little older. And um, mostly want to emphasize um, the importance of um, skincare as, you know, as in addition to makeup. The makeup is only going to cover what we have underneath it and that the more we take care of our skin uh, all your, you know, at every stage in our life, the, the better it's going to be, um, you know, applying makeup. Up and, and just achieving those looks that you want. But I am in a way kind of suffering from the imposter syndrome here in that, you know, I actually don't have a very sophisticated skincare program. I mean, it is based, as I would want to encourage you, on just acceptance and self-love. Like, I just know that I'm 74 and my skin is going to get wrinkly and crinkly and, you know, I can do as much as I want. To, um, you know, I, it's no good buying expensive products that promise the moon. I just know I have to take care of my skin in a very basic way. So, you know, the cleansing, you know, exfoliating, moisturizing, and protecting. Those are the things that I actually do focus on, like probably most of you do too. And I know when we do makeup videos, which I, I do often every, you know, every Saturday, um, they're, they're focused on makeup products that cream products that are, you know, in, in infused with skincare. I think that's the way to to look at makeup and, and, and beauty. So um, what are the basics? Now, I've got some products here that I use that I'm going to share with you. And hopefully in the comment section, you'll leave what, you, you, what you're using and, and what you love. I just kind of want to share, you know, my own thoughts about skincare and, um, you know, ageless beauty. <laughs> and there is, there is no age when it comes to beauty. And I think that's one of the things we do very well as we get uh, into this, our 60s and 70s, is appreciate beauty at a different level, in a, in a different way. But here we are, we've got faces. <laughs> I've got my glasses here because I can't actually see. I mean, you know, things like that, simple eyesight. But um, I wanna share with you some of the things that I actually use and we'll go through those steps of, of cleansing, um, uh, you know, exfoliating, moisturizing and, um, and protecting. Now, <laughs> I use something so basic for skincare cleansing it's ponds. It's so, this tub is like two thirds of the way finished, but already the label came off because it was just, you know, it gets moist and creamy and it's gone, but it's Pons. It's Pons Makeup Remover. And I will leave um, the, the, the um, you know, links below for you so that you can, or the names below, so that you can check it out too. But most, most women in our community know Pons. Noxema, Pons, they've been around for ages and that's my cleanser. That is what I use. Um, I put that on first, I, I wash it off with a flannel and then I actually then do like a second cleanse with, um, not every day, but with um, an exfoliant. And I have found it doesn't mean, no matter what you buy, how expensive the product is, honestly, there's a lot of companies that are taking advantage of, um, you know, the fact that we're looking for, um, ex, you know, products that, that they claim to work. I use something, it's a product by Balea. Now this one is a German brand, and I don't know whether you can even get it, um, you know, um, in other countries, but there's one called St. Ives, which is a good one, and it's the best. It's just, um, and, I, and I use so little. I mean, I use a, like a pea. And I just rub it in my fingers and then rub it on my face, and I'm, you know, getting around these, the pores, and just, you know, rub it all in. And I just realized I've got my little light here that I put up when I'm doing videos, and I didn't have it in front of me. There, okay. Is that a bit better? Yeah, that's a bit more sparkly. Um, anyway, <clears throat> so that's what I use for, for exfoliation. Maybe three times a week, but I don't use a lot. Like, I don't put, you know, tons of it on. I just rub it in my fingers and just moisture and, and exfoliate gently. And so I would encourage everybody who's not doing an exfoliation now to get some product. It doesn't really matter, you know, what, what it costs. Just the, often the CeraVe and um, uh, there's another brand that's very good. I mean, I'm sure Pons even does an exfoliation. But anyway, that's something to consider. And then I um, do that every three or three, four times um, a, a week. And also masks are good. I didn't actually mention that, but, you know, masks are very good for, um, you know, uh, just leaving it on and letting it soak into your skin and help you maintain those kind of youthful glows. There's so many masks now that are actually, um, uh, you know, we've got hyaluronic acid or niacinamide, um, um, you know, things, aloe, things that we know are really, really good for, for you know, deep cleaning the, the skin. So that's the thing about exfoliation and incorporating those um, antioxidants into your skincare regime. Now, a lot of people do use retinol. Now, I've never used retinol. Well, that's not true. I did try it for maybe a week or two and I use rock r-o-c 
uh, which is I think what's called anti wrinkle retinol blend. I will I'll put the name down below because it was a good product and it's one of these uh, not a, not a prescription retinol. It was you know just a drugstore brand. But ROC I think is a French brand and I found that was really um, good. It was a good try, but I, I didn't see that it made any. Oh, I mean you're not going to see a difference in a week or two. But I just didn't want to do it. So I, I didn't put um, retinol on my face. So there's no retinol uh, products or these kind of, um, you know, uh, ones that peels and enzyme peels. I, I personally do not do those. So maybe you can offer some suggestions of products that you've loved. So hydration. Let's talk about hydration next, because honestly, this is to me the most important. Now, if, if you've been watching my channel for the last 10, well, eight years, you know that the, I only use one product and it's the Growing Younger Gracefully um, it's by Sheena Sorrells. I met this woman in Bali um, eight years ago and I tried it and I loved it and I've never used anything else. Now I have certainly tried other face serums, but this one for me has, has just been the best. And um, I can tell you all the ingredients that are in it if you, <laughs> I wore my glasses and now I can't find them. Typical, huh? They're on my head. Okay, let's see if I can tell you the ingredients. Vitamin E, frankincense, rose, grapeseed, lavender, and heliochrysum. I know that's a really good one. It's called the like, infinity um, oil or something. And then um, that's it, that's what's in there. And it's made with love. <laughs> but um, I know I've tried Timeless, I've tried a few others and they're lovely, but they're too expensive. And this one for me, I found was really, um, you know, the best option. So I'll put that in the, in the link below, but many of you know about it, Growing Younger Gracefully. And I don't have it with me, but um, Sheena has just come out with a face or um, an eye serum. And I do have it on today, actually. It's really, really good. I mean, I've got a little bit of makeup, well, I've got makeup on today, but I did put some oil under my eyes and then tapped a bit of um, powder just on, you know, to set it. But um, it's a smaller bottle of this, but it's eye serum, other uh, development on the, on the growing younger gracefully front. So that's moisturizers. Now, in terms of um, face creams, okay, I have actually tried creme de la mer five, 10 years ago, long time ago. Um, and I loved it. It was okay. I mean, it was too, like $100 for a little jar. And um, we did it as an experiment. We compared it to Nivea. And I could, I could, obviously, I could see the difference, but I like the Nivea cream just as well. But um, one that I've picked up that I really like for moisturizing um, is this one by Wellida or Willida. <clears throat> it's called Skin Food. And I don't know whether you've seen this before, but I know it's available everywhere. Relita is a very plant-based and, and organic and vegan company. They do a whole lot of beautiful skincare products with pomegranate and other kinds of beautiful ingredients. But this one is called Skin Food. And this is the, I think it's the light. Is this the light? No, this is the normal one that I use at nighttime. But they do also do a Skin um, Food Light which is designed for like a, a, um, a primer almost or a moisturizer. I also use, um, oh, if I could just find it here because I've actually got it. Here we go. This is one on my desk all the time, which is the Embrolease. So between the skin food for nighttime for me and this for the daytime, this Embrolease is a cult product. I mean, it's it's really well known. If you have watched my channel, you know that I use it a lot. I mean, I've actually got this one for um, like a primer moisturizer. And then I've also purchased this um, larger size, which is a body um, lotion, same Embrolease, same uh, company. But um, it's... Uh, like a quarter of the price for four times as much. And I actually use it on my face sometimes. It's a body lotion. It's, it's a cream fluid. Um, and you can use it on your body. You can use it on your hands, eyes, face, whatever. It's one of the best. I mean, personally, I know we all have our favorites and we stand by them. But this is for me, the Embrolease um, cream as a primer, as a moisturizer. I don't put any primer on my, my face ever. I put the Growing Younger Gracefully Serum and this. These are the two things that I use all the time. So, um, but you probably got your favorites. And good old Vaseline, let's give it a, another cheer. I did a video a few weeks ago for that and people just loved it. It was like, yes, I use Vaseline all the time. Under eyes at nighttime. <clears throat> One, I'll sneak in here. Many of you won't like this and you'll say, oh, Margaret, no. But I uh, use it sometimes, not every single day, but it's snail mucin. And they're not harmed in the creation of this little snails. It's just secreted out on a comfortable little place and it's all good. They're not killed or anything. And it's, um, it's really cool. It gets lots and lots and lots 
of rage, rave reviews, but <clears throat> I use it now and again. But I wanted to mention it because it is kind of a cool thing. And if you're into trying new things, uh, snail mucin might be might be one of them. So that's that. Now the final thing is protection. Now, um, uh, okay, I'm I'm sorry, I'm a little bit guilty of this. I'm a sun. I was a sun goddess when I was younger. I was out all the time in the sun. You know, baby oil to make it <laughs> make, you know, to get suntan more. You know this story. If you're in your sixties, we didn't think about it, but um, I did start to use um, some um, uh, SPF just um, in, my, in my foundation, which I knew isn't a good st strategy, but I did find one that I wanted to share with you, and this has become like my go-to. Part of it was I didn't like the application of, of sunscreen. It was like sticky and gooey and, and that white um, cast. I know there are better products now that don't do that, but I never purchased them. But this one by La Roche-Posay is a spray. It's a spray suntan, and it's like 50 plus. Um, I will put the name of this. It's, it's actually, I bought it here, so it's, it's um, Anthelios. I don't know whether that's the French um, word for it or whether it's that's the name of the product, but I will leave the details for this. It's all in um, it's all in French because I'm in Switzerland and so they just sell the products directly from France. It's invisible application, transparent, 50 plus, um, and it covers both the UHV and the UVA, I believe it is. It's a really good product. Um, got turned on to this by my daughter-in-law because she's using it with the kids, with the, with the grandkids, because it's so sunny here in the summertime and um, we just wanted to be super, super careful. You spray it on, close your eyes, and I count to three. It's really, really good. So that's the, that's the one I use for sun, uh, sun care. And you've probably got some ideas as well. I know these are products that a lot of people take super, super uh, seriously. And I want to make sure that I'm highlighting the importance and even though I'm not the best role model for it I hate to admit um, it actually is worth considering so those are some of the skincare um, opportunities um, products that I use things just themes that you might want to consider what do you use for cleansing what do you use for exfoliating what do you use for moisturizing and then protection those are the four things that I think you need to be aware of and I would love your recommendations let's use this opportunity to share okay so take good care everybody um just take care of your skin and your and then apply the makeup as you like it will go on look better if you take care of this primary step and um yeah I'd look, look forward to sharing what you're doing so take care of yourselves go out into the world and shine and we'll speak to you again soon lots of love